Hello, I'm Susie and I have created the Divorce First Aid for employees. Divorce First Aid, what is that? Well, it's very simple. Divorce First Aid is a concept that I've come up with because I realised that there's a huge problem in the workplace with stress. Stress, stress, it's getting worse. And a lot of the stress that causes problems in the workplace, uh, obviously it's a nightmare if you're gonna work with someone who's going through um, a hellish divorce. It's not something they can just keep at home very easily. But they may not want to be able to talk, have to talk about it at work, and they certainly may not want to have to go to the HR or or to seek help. And even then, what help can they really be given? Um, you know, a counsellor hotline just isn't enough. I'm sorry. And the reason things go wrong is very simple: it's a lack of key, key information, and that's the information that I can share. It's so simple. It's just that nobody knows it, and I can share that with them, so that everybody who in the workforce who is, is dealing with serious family change does not get sent down the wrong road towards um, an adversarial divorce, a messy, expensive, horrible, stressful divorce that's going to impact on everybody around them. So we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen. Although there are many wonderful um, employment assistance programs and great resources that companies who care about their employees share with them. Unfortunately, the overall, the rise in stress-related absenteeism uh, with people being off work long-term on paid leave for stress is going up and has been for some time. So I know, and you probably know too, that the root cause of a lot of that stress is what's happening at home. It's, it's not just because you don't get on with your boss. So relationship first aid, which focuses on divorce and family change, is designed specifically for employees. Because one of the problems is, is we don't know what to say, we don't know what to do. And even when we do give advice, maybe over a glass at the pub, it, sometimes it's not the right advice. It's the right it's the kind of advice that's going to lead to a nasty adversarial divorce, particularly if we give that advice at the wrong time because people go through stages, very precise uh, emotional stages through divorce. So in a very simple way, you've got an overview of what's happening to a person, you can spot what stage they're at. Those employees are going to be much less likely to get embroiled in a nasty divorce or family split which can go on for years, they're going to be able to get things sorted, their finances are going to be more in order, their whole lives are actually going to be much more sorted and this is going to have a fantastic impact on their colleagues at work who, who want to work with happy people who where their life's going well, they don't want to work with people who are all over the place uh, and certainly from the company's point of view it's going to make a big difference too because if they don't want to be paying turn sick leave to someone they know that the root cause is is family stuff. We tend to have some very strange ideas about what's normal during divorce and family split and I would be guiding people to see things a little bit differently so it's also about a change of perspective. I would love to come along to your workplace and speak to your employees and educate them in hopefully an entertaining way that certainly find out a lot of information they didn't know before and it will really empower everyone not just to support each other better in the workplace. Very simple ways that don't get in anybody's face and it's not about turning everyone into counsellors, trust me. So it's not a depressing experience, I give lots of information it will surprise you, some of the information that I have to share, it's not just about statistics though, it's about practical what you can do as an individual and of course you can take that information that you've used to support in very simple easy ways with your colleagues at work and feel that you're doing good for them rather than just thinking oh I don't know what to say I'm just going to run the other way giving you something practical and simple that you can do in all these different situations but it also will be very very useful in everyday life when it comes to dealing with family friends because let's face it we all know somebody who's going through divorce or family breakup pretty much at any one time and yeah wouldn't it be nice if you, didn't, if you felt that you had some idea of how best to react or best to support that person in very simple ways um, that are non-invasive and uh, that can actually make a big difference to them.